I'm gonna show you the top 10 spring dresses that you need to make room for in your closet. These are my faves. Welcome back to Secrets of a Stylist. For those of you who've never tuned in before and don't know me, my name's Kim, I'm a celebrity fashion stylist. And for those of you who do, welcome back. I'm glad you're here, it's fun to see you. We're gonna jump right in. So these are my top 10 spring dresses that you need to make room for in your wardrobe. Typically, spring is a time where we refresh a lot of our wardrobe, we're doing a lot of our spring cleaning, you're getting in your closet and you're getting old things out. It's a big time for dresses. I love throwing on a dress. It's such a nice change from wearing jeans and like a jacket and a sweater and a t-shirt and being all layered. There's nothing better than throwing on a dress. There are 10 different types of dresses. I'm gonna give you a basic outline and you guys can kind of follow that and keep your eyes open for them. I will also link to the exact dresses that I'm wearing down below. But the first dress that you need a striped collared shirt dress. This is the quintessential spring piece. I mean, who doesn't need a striped dress in their wardrobe, especially for spring? It's so fresh, it's so preppy, it's just a really great piece. I love this one, I got it at Man Woman Home. I think it's a perfect dress. It's brand new in, so they have a full run of the sizes. I'll leave a link below if you're interested, you can just call them and they'll ship one out. I'm wearing a size small, there's tons of room in it. This could go from small to medium. I like it. Dress number two is a yellow dress. Yellow is a huge color for spring. I keep seeing it all over Instagram, in the magazines. I was in Man Woman Home and I spotted this yellow dress. It encompasses so many trends. It's floral. The yellow is a really nice yellow. It's more of like a golden tone. And here's the most beautiful part. It's actually a wrap dress. And for those of you who don't know, wrap dresses are almost universally flattering. So this is just a beauty little piece. Very cute, I've tried it on. This is a size small, it's got lots of room. Free people I find fits really big. So don't worry about it if you're wearing it, it's gonna be too tight, especially with the wrap dress. Anyway, a great piece, yellow dress. Dress number three that you need to make room for this spring in your closet is the chambray dress. Any type of dress in jean material is so spring. These two I was completely drawn to, they're totally different. This one is Design Lab, uh, made for Hudson's Bay, and I love it, it's off the shoulder jean. I paired this with a pair of desert booties. Um, I've also paired it with a pair of wrap sandals. When I tried it on, I thought it looked fantastic. This one I also found at Hudson's Bay, it's Dex and I pulled it to show you guys, put it on for another segment, and I'm like, uh, yeah, this one's a keeper for sure. So a jean dress is a quintessential piece that you need to have in your spring wardrobe. So here's dress number three, chambray dress. Two different types. The next dress that you have to have in your wardrobe is a plain pastel dress. I found this one at Topshop. It is absolutely gorgeous. You can pair this with a jean jacket, a pair of nude wrap sandals, you could also wear a pair of booties with it, a white jean jacket. Personally, when it's earlier on in the spring, I'll show you what I would pair it with because I like to dress down something like this. With, some, with a dress that's as soft and feminine as this, I love to pair it with a, a leather moto jacket. Throw it on with this and a pair of black mules, a jean jacket, it's just like a totally gorgeous look. If you wanna dress it up and you wanna wear it to an event, you can throw it on with a scarf and a pair of nude heels. It would be absolutely beautiful. Again, this one is from Topshop, and I'll tell you how much it was. Oh, $75 Canadian at Topshop. So that's less than $60 for you Americans. Great dress, pastel dress. Dress number five that you need to have in your wardrobe, some type of gingham dress. This one, so cute. It's by Faithful the brand. I absolutely love it. I love it because it's gingham, but the color's muted. So it's not like this like pow in your face, especially if you're not used to wearing anything that's busy. It's just such a cute dress. I pulled it from Man Woman Home for a photo shoot with Boulevard Magazine and our model looked absolutely amazing. At first I was a little worried. I was like, I don't know, maybe she's gonna look too young in it. And we threw it on her and it just, she killed it. Um, something to let you know, uh, this is a size small. It fits me perfectly. It is a shorter dress on the shorter side. So if you wanna show your legs, this particular one is a great piece. Uh, again, you can throw on a jean jacket with it, leather jacket, 
Um, I wouldn't put a scarf on with this just because of the frills on the sleeve. You want to keep something a little more structured. Any type of gingham dress is a make room for this spring. The sixth type of dress that you need to make room for in your closet is any type of floral dress. Florals are huge this spring. They're huge every spring. I mean, let's be honest. They're a little more big, they're more bold. And I found this dress actually at Zara, but you can find any floral dress that looks great on you. I thought this one was super cute. I really liked the wide sleeves on it. It comes up high at the neck. I actually got this one in London um, when I was at Fashion Week and it's super cute. I've never really been a big floral person, but because this one is black, I feel like I can wear it because it's just like maybe a little bit more edgy. Although I tried on that yellow one and it was fantastic too. So anyway, I think I'm just getting into florals. Super cute, any type of floral dress, but go with whatever your vibe is, whoever you are. So if you're really feminine and you really want longer floral dresses, you can pair them with a jean jacket or a leather jacket. Personally, I'm a little more edgy, so I like ones that are short and black. I thought this was super cute and I love pink too. Floral dress. A standard spring dress that you need to have in your wardrobe is a plain sweatshirt dress. Sweatshirt or t-shirt dress. I love this one, it's gray, it goes with everything. I actually found this one at Garage Clothing and I've had it, I think, for a year. It's a fantastic throw on. I throw this on to go get groceries. I can throw it on with fancier boots or runners to go to a meeting with a jean jacket. Super cute. I've also thrown it on over top of a bathing suit and gone to the beach and or gone boating. So it's just a super versatile piece. Most of the time, you'll see me wearing this with my Golden Goose runners. That's kind of how I roll in this dress. Sweatshirt, t-shirt dress, must have. A white dress. It's spring. I'm a fan, a huge fan of white dresses. If you look through my Instagram, I think I have a million. I just keep buying white dresses. It's just something really fresh and light. I love the look and the feel. I love the vibe. I don't even care if they get dirty. So a white dress is something you need. This one I got at Saks. Any white dress though, I have a whole bunch that I found on Shopbop, on Revolve, Hudson's Bay has some, Nordstrom, Macy's, anywhere. There's a million out there. And I would say with white dresses, my only advice to you is buy the one of the best quality that you can afford because white tends to be um, a bit see-through, it tends to get a little damaged. So the higher quality ones just tend to last a little bit longer, so you're gonna get a little more out of it. Anyway, this is one of my favorites, just plain long sleeve. I wear it with desert boots and I love it. A kimono style dress. Kimonos are huge for the season. This is a wrap dress from Gypsy Soul, but it also, I felt like, embodied that kind of kimono vibe. I think because of the wide sleeves, I love it. I wore this in Santorini um, when I was there. I wore, I wear it all the time in the summer. I wear it to restaurants, to patios, and I also wear it out during the day with flat wrap sandals. It's just a gorgeous dress. Gypsy Soul carries more of these. I'll put a link below. They also have the most gorgeous kimonos there too, so check those out. But again, anything kimono is gonna make it in your wardrobe for spring. It's gonna be a great piece to have. It's a no fail. So I like this. It sort of is a bit of that kimono vibe. Number 10, I'm gonna show you an example, but I'm also gonna talk about another one, so I'm kind of giving you like 10 and a half. But any type of larger pattern check dress is kind of playing off of that gingham vibe. I found this one, I thought it was super cute. I found it at Dynamite and it's got ruching, um, which makes it really easy to wear. The price point was great. $40 on sale, I mean, you can't really go wrong. It's $40. So I thought this was a great spring wear it to work. You can pair this with a pair of loafers. You can pair it with a pair of slides. You can wear this um, in the spring out to a patio as well. You can dress it up, dress it down. Fantastic piece and also very classic and classy. I just wanted to give you 10 and a half. Another dress, spring dress that should make it into your wardrobe is any type of animal print. Animal print's huge. And depending on how you style it, it can really be a very classic piece for spring. I personally love leopard. I did find a leopard dress to show you guys, but I didn't love the cut. So I'll look for a few online and then I'll paste links to them below. That's it, that's all 10. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Those are definitely 10 spring dresses that you need to make room for in your closet. I tried to show you examples. So kind of take those and then when you're shopping, keep them in your head or take screenshots on this video. And then when you go to the mall and you 
see something that you like, you can think about it and be like, oh yeah, Kim said stripes were really cool. I'm really drawn to stripes. I love this dress. You'll see something that's right for you or I'll link to these pieces below. This one, by the way, is so fab. It's completely comfortable. I highly recommend. Anyway, that's just, I'm, I got a little sidetracked. But I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, I will leave links for everything down below. So I'll see you guys next week. Thank you.